Hey guys, welcome back to beach.com. We're coming at you today from sunny Sarasota, Florida. We're on Lido Beach and it's a really beautiful day. And today we wanted to tell you about harmful sunscreen ingredients to avoid in 2019. This is especially relevant right now because the state of Hawaii just banned the sale of sunscreens, including the ingredients oxybenzone and octanoxate. These ingredients are known for bleaching coral reefs, really causing damage to the coral and life in the ocean, and they're even linked to reproductive issues in humans. So two really nasty ingredients we don't want on our skin or in our ocean. So with the ban of this, we wanted to bring some other options for protecting your skin to light. And one of those is choosing sunscreens with two ingredients that aren't harmful, which are titanium dioxide and zinc oxide. You know, think like the sun, like the classic lifeguard who has the white nose at the beach, that's zinc on your nose. And instead of turning the sun's rays into heat, like the harmful ingredients, these actually just block the rays off your body. They reflect them. And one company that sells this kind of sunscreen is Stream to Sea. It's one of our favorite sunscreens. And this is their sport version. It has 6.6% titanium dioxide. And um, these kinds of sunscreens are going to go on a little bit thicker, a little differently than the sunscreen you're used to. Like I said, like the lifeguard, they kind of stay a little bit whiter. But they also have a version that is tinted, so it's kind of more the color of like foundation or makeup. But if you don't like sunscreen and you really want to protect your skin anyways, there's also powder sunscreen options nowadays. They're not good for swimming because they wash off in the water, but you can use powder sunscreen, say if you're going hiking or you're going to be at the beach and not be in the water, a great option. And Or you can just use good old fashioned clothing to protect yourself from the sun. Um, you can stay in the shade of the beach, wear a hat, or wear like long sleeve clothes. You can even buy rash guards nowadays. You know, you can go in the ocean with them and different ones have different levels of UV protection. So you can even see that right when you're buying the shirt and go into the sun with confidence. And on top of that, we have more exciting news. At the time of this filming, it's January 15th, 2019. And today they're meeting in Key West, Florida at City Hall to also ban the sale of these harmful ingredients. So if that goes through, it'll set an example for the rest of the counties in, Sarah, in Florida and hopefully the whole country one day. It would be really exciting to you know, get these ingredients out of our oceans and our lives and move forward protecting them. So if you're interested in trying Stream to Sea for yourself, definitely head over to their website and use our coupon code. It's just the word BEACH, all lowercase, B-E-A-C-H. You'll get a little discount and you can see how you like the product for yourself. And if you'd like to learn more, head to beach.com. Our article on harmful sunscreen ingredients to avoid in 2019 is up. We wanted to show you what the sport version sunscreen is like on your skin. So here it is. It's 6.6% titanium dioxide from stream to sea. And put it on your skin. It's a lot for my hand. Oops. But you rub it in. It still kind of leaves a little bit of a sheen, but it goes in really nicely. And now my hand is perfectly protected from the sun. <laughs> At least for water resistant 80 minutes. <laughs>